I haven't been finding much in thrift stores or garage sales lately. So for today's project, I went out and picked a chair from the pile of old chairs in my garage. This chair was made by Lane Furniture Company, probably in the 1960s. Its style could be described as mid-century modern. Like a lot of mid-century chairs, it's made from a mix of plywood with a walnut veneer and then a cheaper solid wood for the frame that's usually sprayed with a tinted lacquer to color it. I'm not sure of the wood species that this frame was made of, but from the looks of the grain, I would guess that it's elm. The backrest is bent plywood with a walnut veneer, except for the thin piece on top, which is solid walnut. In this shot, you can see the difference in color and the grain pattern between the walnut backrest and the elm frame. The finish was in pretty good shape, but it had some structural issues. Nearly every joint needed to be re-glued. You can see here the dried glue in this joint where a previous owner had tried to repair it, but wasn't quite successful. Even the walnut veneer on the backrest was coming loose. The first step was to remove the seat. This was in good shape and just needed to be cleaned. Next, I started disassembling the frame. Most of it came apart pretty easily, with a few taps from the mallet. And here you can see the true color of the wood where there's no finish applied. To put it back together, I first scraped off any of the old glue. Then I applied some new glue. Put it back together and applied a clamp. I had a little trouble getting the front leg off of the side rail. I could tell that the glue had lost its grip, but something else was preventing it from coming apart. At first I thought somebody might have put a nail in the joint, but then I found this plug. There's a screw hidden under the plug. To get the screw out, I first had to drill through the plug. And I started with a small drill bit and worked my way up until the plug was drilled out. You can see here that it's actually a bolt that goes into a threaded sleeve in the frame. To put it back together, I scraped off any old glue, applied some new glue, and put the bolt back in. This one didn't need a clamp since the bolt was holding it together. Then I needed to fill the hole again with a wood plug. For this I made some new plugs from a scrap piece of walnut. I used a plug cutter and a handheld drill and then glued in the new plugs.
I used a chisel to carve the plugs flush with the legs. I didn't want to refinish the frame, so I tried not to damage the finish with the chisel, but I did end up leaving a few marks. I touched those up later with some gel stain. I used some of this Timbermate wood filler to fill any gaps around the plugs. Once it was dry, I went over it with some 320 grit sandpaper. With the frame back together, it was time to work on the backrest. The walnut veneer was coming off in a few spots. I used a syringe to shoot some glue under the veneer, and then I put some clamps on it while it dried. The plies of the plywood were coming apart on the lower edge, so I glued those two again with the syringe and some wood glue. There were even some spots in the middle of the backrest where the veneer had lifted and I used an X-Acto knife to slice through it and then I was able to get some glue in with the syringe. I decided to refinish the backrest, so I removed it from the frame. It was glued and screwed on, so I had to remove these plugs to get to the screws. They came out easily with the help of some pliers. Once the plugs were out, I found that one of the screws was barely even screwed in, and a couple of the other screws had stripped heads. It looked like someone had been in there before. There wasn't much glue holding the backrest on, but there was enough to make it difficult to remove. I grabbed a heat gun and warmed it up a bit to soften the glue. It eventually came off, but not without taking some of the walnut veneer off with it. But that was an easy fix. Just a bit of glue and some clamps took care of it.
Once the finish was stripped off and the piece had dried, I applied some walnut gel stain. I put some tape over the spots where it would get glued on later. There was a spot where a previous owner had patched the veneer. I took a foam brush with just a hint of gel stain on it and applied some stain to the patch to help blend it in. Once that was all dry, I gave it a few coats of wipe-on satin polyurethane. There were also a few spots to touch up on the frame. I went over these spots with some gel stain and a small brush. Once that was all dry, I sprayed the entire frame with some clear satin lacquer to seal in the touch-ups and to get some finish over those walnut plugs that I put in. Here it is all done. It doesn't look much different than when I started, but it's structurally sound now. Thanks for watching.